Welcome to the Protagonist Pub. My name is Tammy, and this is where characters gather. Today is August 5th, and this is going to be the Mama Bear book tag. It's an original book tag by Taylor and she put out her video a while ago and I'm going to link it in the description box down below. Well, I, I am doing this tag because I want to support my friend Taylor and she worked really hard on it and the questions are great. It is not going to be an easy tag for me. Um, so you're getting two videos today. It's a Monday and if all had gone according to plan, our eldest child would be turning 19 today. And Sorry about that. Um, this is going to be harder than I thought. <clears throat> I, this particular date and the date of the miscarriage stick in my memory more so than any of the others. Probably because it was the first and it was the most traumatic and I thought today would be a great way to honor That soul that went home to God twenty years ago. Um, so forgive me if this is a little watery. I thought I could do it without crying, and apparently I was going insane when I thought that. So for the purposes of this video. I am going to assume, because we do not know for any of them, that we were having a girl. And that's not because I had a preference for a girl. I would have been happy with either. But because most of my books are more feminine in nature than um, male in nature for reading material. That is the only reason. So know that going in. So, Taylor's questions. A, the first prompt is a book cover in their favorite color and <clears throat> obviously I have no idea so I chose a book that had a peaceful scene on the cover that is very easy to Okay, I picked a peaceful scene because it's easy to imagine our children and play with one another on said scene. And that is The Princes of Ireland by Edward Rutherford. 
it's just a nice, calming scene. So, that is the first problem. Prompt two, book published in the year they were born. And I have three of those on my shelves that were published in 2005. And um, I only pulled books from my shelves for this tag. I believe we will see as this goes on. I'm pulling books as I as I do this so that I can give myself a chance to wipe the tears from my eyes. So first up would be Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. As you know, I recently listened to this on Audible. I loved it. It uh, is set in the Cosmere. There is a world hopper in here. Um, Sanderson's first published novel and I absolutely in, just adored this novel. Next up would be the 11th book in the Wheel of Time series that is Nice Knife of Dreams by Robert Jordan and I haven't read this one yet. I will someday finish the series. I need to make an effort to do that here shortly and Next up, and the last book I pulled for this prompt, is Eldest by Christopher Paolini. This is the second book in the Inheritance Cycle series. I have read the first book this year. I need to continue the series. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It is young adult fantasy and very well written, thoroughly enjoyable. I am looking forward to continuing that series. Prop three is a book set in their favorite season or the season they were born. Obviously, I don't know what her favorite season would have been. I know she was due to be born August 5th. And I pulled a summer book from my shelves. That would be Summer Rental by Mary Kay Andrews. I know it's set in summer just by the title. I too am an August child. Summer is by far my favorite season. So it isn't that big of a stretch of an imagination that she would prefer that season. four a book starting with a letter in their first name so our first girl was going to be named after my father's mother who died when he was four he has no memory of her and the biggest honor I could pay to the grandmother I never knew that my father never knew was to name our our first daughter after her and her name was going to be Violet Edith and so I pulled a book starting with V and a book starting with E and I pulled the ones I've read and so for V, it would be Veiled in Smoke by Jocelyn Green. This is the first book in the Windy City Saga. This was the January Choice for Book Club this year. It is an absolutely fantastic read. It's tabbed. I love it. My notes are still in here. Yeah, this it's a fantastic read. And for E... Talantris by Brandon Sanderson. Again, I've read this, thoroughly enjoyed it. 
those two books are very different than one another, but they're very reflective of, you know, my broad choices of reading. Prompt five is a book character that reminds you of them. I, for obvious reasons, do not have a answer for this question and I cannot assign a personality to uh, a child I never got to hold. Who I love dearly and will love dearly for the rest of my life. Prop six a book with something in it they love or love to do. Um, again. For the same reasons as prompt five, there is no answer for this question. Prompt seven, a book you have or would have enjoyed together. And There are so many I could choose right now. Um, I'm going to put... Um, the Winnie the Pooh collection by A.A. A. Milne. This would have been appropriate no matter what sex of child we had. It is my favorite childhood series of all time always will be um and i i cannot fathom knowing myself not having read that to our children Just beggar's belief that I, I i wouldn't have read Winnie the pooh to our kids Prompt eight, a book you, you'd recommend to them. And a book I would recommend to a 19 year old in today's society. That is a very challenging question. It would probably be something from my childhood you know, my, my reading experience as a 19 year old, I was in college and living away from home for the first time. And they would probably be in, you know, similar shoes. So I would undoubtedly recommend a cozy mystery series. There were two that were, uh, I'm just going to mention the one that was my go-to in college. Every single time I needed a, a break from college life, I would pick up a um, Goldie book, Goldie Schultz book. Diane Mott Davidson is the author. Thank you very much. And these are culinary cozy mysteries. They are family centric. Family is a, key component of these mysteries and I love them I have her cookbook these were always go-to's for me in college always and I would I have no problem recommending these to anyone ever okay
Prompt nine, a book you would recommend them to read next. So, same genre or same time frame, 19 year old me, what was I reading? Um, I was obviously reading romance at that time, on and off. None of them stick out. So if I had to pick something from my shelves for them to read in the romance department, what would I pick? I'm actually going to recommend the, I would, I would recommend the Ice Wand by Janelle Szyzlinski. This is World War One, post-World War One Bolshevik Revolution, historical fiction. The romance in here is top tier. The intrigue in here is top tier. The banter. This book was fantastic and I have absolutely no qualms recommending this to a 19 year old. Our female protagonist isn't that, is a little older than 19, but I would easily recommend this to a 19 year old. It, it was a fantastic read. And by the time this video comes out, that book club review will be up. So I will link that in the description box down below. If I remember to do so, there's that caveat. Okay. Last prompt. A book showing strong motherhood. And surprisingly, it is very difficult to show a book showing strong motherhood. We have a lot of examples in the fiction on my shelves behind me of mothers all over the place. And Mothers who are struggling and mothers who are weak and mothers who are less than helpful. However, there is one series that has an incredibly strong motherhood figure and I would absolutely recommend this series to a 19 year old and let me pull it down. So, you're not going to be surprised. It's the Molly Chase series. The first book is In Pieces. And the second book is Adrift. And the mother figure in here is not Molly's mother. It is Josiah's mother. He is our male hero. And Mrs. Rob is a fantastic mother figure. She takes in the very hurt and very traumatized Molly and helps nurse her back to health. And she helped raise Molly when she was a child after her own mother died. And she provides to both Molly and Josiah no-nonsense, realistic advice. She doesn't necessarily sugarcoat stuff. She doesn't make decisions for them. She is a fantastic definition of what a strong mother figure is. And she is very relatable and she isn't distant from her children and she isn't unapproachable. She is a fantastic mother figure. And the other book I can mention that has strong mother figure in it is The Ice Swan. In this case, it is a contrast between two mothers. There is the mother of um, Svetlana 
And then there is the mother of wind. And Svetlana's mother is very selfish, very self-absorbed, very cold, very distant, very hands-off. She's a very quintessential, stereotypical Russian nobility mother. And in contrast, you have Wynne's mother, and she is the mother of two sons, one of whom died at the end of World War I, and Wynne, who inherited the dukedom, and she is an American who married a Scottish duke, and she is a quintessential, hands-on, loving freely dispenses advice, freely hugs her children, freely says I love you type of mother. And you get in this one book the great contrast between types of mothering and you don't get that a lot in books. And it was absolutely refreshing and a great example of motherhood. So, there are couple of choices and the FedEx man drove by and well obviously Fireball's upset so that is the mother mama bear book tag I realized this was incredibly emotional for a book tag and I Knew it was going to be difficult. I didn't think it would be quite this difficult. So leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe. And I will see you here next time at the Protagonist Pub.